Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to use Python and Selenium to automate Instagram by making an Instagram bot. So the first thing that we need to do is download Python if you don't have it installed already. So for that, you can open a new Chrome window, and go to python.org. Go to the downloads page and you can get the latest version here. Secondly, we're gonna need Selenium. For that, we can go to Selenium dot dev and again go to the downloads page and get the latest version here now selenium is what's going to be powering our project today and basically what it is is it automates browsers uh, and in order to use selenium we're going to need a web driver so for that we're going to look up web driver for chrome and go to the first link and right from that home page, you can download the version of Chrome driver that you need. So the version will correspond to the version of Chrome that you have. So to find out which version that is, you can go to settings, go to about Chrome, and you'll see it right here. All right, now we're ready to start coding. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a folder where you want to store this project. For me, I'm going to be putting it in the YouTube folder on my machine. Uh, here I have a terminal window. I'm already into that uh, folder. As you can see, if we list all of the items in here, you'll see Selenium Python. I'm actually going to make a new folder for this project. Let's call this Tutorial Python Selenium. <clears throat> and I'm going to CD into that project. Now, since we're using Python, we're going to want it to use a virtual environment. So I'm going to be using pip env. If you don't have it already, you can install it by typing brew install pip env and run that. I already have it installed, so this will not do anything. All right, so there you go. See, it's installed and up to date. Uh, and secondly, we are going to want to create a new environment. So to do that, we can use pip env <clears throat> install. And that will create a new environment for us. And if we go into the folder, you'll see it created two files right here. Uh, secondly, we, go, we want to now start the shell. To do that, we go pip env shell. And now we are in our virtual environment. Now we're gonna install our one dependency for this project, which is Selenium. We can do that by writing pip env install Selenium. All right, there you go. Now everything's set up for this project. Uh, now we're going to want to make a Python file. So we can do that directly from the terminal with touch. And I'm going to name this bot.py. There we go. And now we can open this in our editor. All right, so we're going to be editing inside the bot.py file. So the first thing that we want to do is import WebDriver from Selenium. Next, we're just going to write some standard uh, Python boilerplate code so we can get up and running. All right, so. Basically what this is doing is when we run the program, it will check this first. This will execute as true. So it will run the main method, which will instantiate a variable named mybot to class bot. And then it will initiate the init function of class bot, which for now all that is doing is printing it works. So we can test that by simply writing python bot.py. And you'll see, you get, it works. All right, so similarly how we uh, declared variable mybot to be equal to this class bot, we can do the same for web driver. So we can say self dot driver, which is our variable. This could be anything you want. We're going to make that equal to web driver dot chrome. Next, we can call functions that WebDriver gives us. So to call this, we need to write again self.driver. 
dot. And you'll see there are a bunch of different functions here that we can use. The one we're going to want to use is get. See right there? And the definition of get is it loads a web page in the current browser session. So for this, like I said, we're going to be using Instagram. So let's go grab the Instagram URL. Copy that and paste it in here as a string literal. All right. So now if we run this file again, it should get this URL. Uh, one thing to note is if you run this, it will work, but it will close the browser right after it finishes. So to see that it's working, I'm going to add dash I, which is interactive mode. So after it finishes executing, it will the browser will remain open. There you go. So if we right click inspect, you'll see we get all the code behind the web page. Now let's do it again. And you can see this code right here corresponds to this input. So we want to get this element in Python, right? So the way we're going to do that is by right clicking, and hit copy and copy x path. So this is the path to get to this element. And we can grab that in here by using self dot driver dot find. And you'll see there's a bunch of different ways we can find that element. You can find it by class name, by CSS selector ID, but the one we're using is x path. Similar to get, we can pass in like that, and boom, there you go. So after we get it, we want to send our username in, right? So the way we're going to do that is by using the send keys method. So we can type self dot driver dot send underscore keys. We can send it whatever we want. So let's see, let's send it my username. And one thing to note before we run this, if we run this, it will fail because it will execute this instruction here. But before Instagram is actually loaded, it will execute this line. So this will fail. Even though it's there, it will fail because Instagram is not loaded yet. So it, it will think it's not there. So to fix that, we can use uh, Python uh, function sleep. So we can import that from time. So now it will execute this line, and then it will do nothing for five seconds, and then it will execute this line. So let's run that, see what we get. All right, so we're getting error, no attribute, send keys. Ah, yes, I need to uh, initialize this to a variable. Let's call this user name input equals that. And then we're going to, instead of self.driver.sendKeys, we want to send the keys to that variable. Try that again. And there you go. You can see our username is in there. So next, we're going to send our password. And we can do it the same way. We can just inspect, we can grab the X path, and we can do the same thing that we did for username. We'll call this password input. I'll set that equal to self.driver.find element by X path. <clears throat> and then send keys, we're gonna send our password, but we wanna keep this password secret. So what we can do is we can send password like this and import this from another file. So let's make a new file, we'll call this secrets.py, and we're gonna make a, a variable pw and set that equal to your password. So enter your password here, import from secrets, import password. 
now we can pass that into there. So let's run this and see if it works. And there you go. We have the username and we have the password. So the final step is to actually click login. So just like we've been doing, let's get the Xcode. And here we gotta be careful. When we right click and hit inspect, it brings us to this div right here. But this isn't actually what we wanna click. What we wanna click is this button. So let's copy that XPath as opposed to copying the div XPath. And then to click it, all we're gonna do is call another function dot click. And this will click it for us. So let's see if that works. And there you go. We can see it clicked it for us and we are in. So now we have this pop-up that comes up and we wanna click not now on this. So just like how we clicked the submit button, we can click not now. And there we go, looks like it worked. All right, so in the next video, we'll continue to dive deeper into this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share, and I'll see you in the next one.